Five ways people with diabetes should do when they are sick. Health problems such as colds, flu or illnesses that cause vomiting or diarrhea, bacterial or viral infections can cause high blood sugar. Therefore, controlling blood sugar when sick needs special attention from diabetics. 1. Be prepared in advance. To take good care of their health when they are sick, people with diabetes should have a plan to prepare and consult their doctor for precautions. Questions to ask your doctor for further advice may include. What medicine should you take? When do you need to see a doctor? How does the doctor check blood sugar? What should you do if your blood sugar rises? When should you test for ketones? What should people with diabetes eat when sick? 2. Check stats regularly. Body temperature. You should check your body temperature regularly, because when you're sick, it's easy to cause feverish symptoms that affect your health. Blood glucose level. Diabetics should check every 4 hours when sick. If your blood sugar is above 300, you should check your urine for ketones. Ketone testing. If you have type 1 diabetes, high blood sugar levels above 240 mg per deciliter or your doctor recommends it, you should get tested. Ketones are waste products that type 1 diabetics make when they're stressed or sick. If you detect ketones in your urine, contact your doctor for advice. 3. Fully replenish water. Diabetes can make people more susceptible to dehydration due to fever and diarrhea and lead to electrolyte disturbances and hyperglycemia. When sick, people with diabetes often feel tired and unable to eat, which can be delayed temporarily, but ongoing fluid intake is not to be missed. You should drink one cup of fluids every hour to combat dehydration. 4. Notes when taking medicine. If you have type 2 diabetes, you need to be especially careful when taking medication by mouth when you are sick. You should not self-medicate, but consult your doctor and specifically tell you about your diabetes situation. If you need an over-the-counter medicine to control symptoms such as cough and congestion, ask your doctor or pharmacist for a sugar-free product. You should avoid sugary syrup products and be aware that decongestants can affect blood sugar and blood pressure. 5. Eat supplements. In about 3 to 4 hours, people with diabetes should add 30 to 50 grams of carbohydrates to nourish the body, help the body stop producing ketones and prevent excessive hypoglycemia. You can add some foods with carbohydrates such as yogurt, quinoa, oatmeal, bananas, apples, oranges, kidney beans, etc. Things not to do when sick medical experts emphasize that people with diabetes should not increase or decrease the dose of medication or insulin without a doctor's prescription. If you notice an unusual increase or decrease in your blood sugar, you should contact your doctor immediately for advice before deciding to change the dose. You should not be subjective with unusual symptoms such as abdominal pain, vomiting more than six times, frequent urination, dry mouth and thirst, confusion, confusion, blood sugar rises continuously and exceeds 240, urine ketone levels or high diabetes is inherently dangerous, so people with diabetes when experiencing other diseases need to pay special attention to their health. In addition to following the above, you need to pay attention to the unusual symptoms to see a doctor promptly. For reference only, not a substitute for medical diagnosis or treatment.